Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel Hi Celebrities, Canadian rapper Drake reportedly paid $75 million for Robbie Williams' magnificent mansion as the former Take That star made a profit seven years after purchasing it for $32 million. The property, a sprawling 10-bedroom estate spread across three acres of land in Beverly Hills, was sold to the hip-hop star in an off-market deal, although financial details surrounding the purchase will not be disclosed until the deal is formally completed. According to Dirt, the property sold for exactly $75 million with Kurt Rappaport from Westside Estate Agencies serving as the listing agent. It's understood that Williams, who shared the home with actress wife Ada Field and their four children, had initially hoped for an $85 million sale before settling for the lower figure after failing to find a buyer. However the singer has still made a notable profit, having originally purchased it from guest co-founder Armand Marciano for $32. 67 million in 2015. According to property records, the Tuscan style property includes a main house measuring some 25,000 square feet containing 10 bedrooms and no less than 22 bathrooms. Other amenities include an 11 car garage, a wine cellar, a gym, a game room, a professional screening room, an elevator, a tennis court, a mosaic tiled pool, and an outdoor kitchen. The Beverly Hills purchase is Drake's first real estate buy in the Los Angeles market after previously buying up property in his native Canada, including a 50,000-square-foot estate in his hometown of Toronto. The sale comes after Williams found a buyer for the 70-acre Wiltshire home he bought in 2009 for eight pounds. One million Compton Bassett house went on the market with estate agency Knight Frank for six pounds. 75 million in 2021, with the singer admitting he was keen to sell to someone who appreciated its splendor as much as he did. He said in a statement, Compton Bassett House is most definitely a family-friendly house that deserves to have much more laughter and joy within its beautiful walls. We hope the incoming purchaser will enjoy just as much as we have. He added, the gardens and trees have enchanted us with their magic, and on rainy days, of which there are many in England, we have played and splashed around the indoor pool, much to our delight. Speaking in 2014, Robbie, then a father of two, admitted he was keen to make the United Kingdom his permanent base after spending an extended period of time in the United States. He told The Sun, I love LA, the people and the weather are great, but it's not England. It can't offer the same, things change when you're a dad, there are people to look after who are more important than yourself. I want daughter, Teddy and the new baby, whatever it may be, to be educated in England. Teddy is already surrounded by English people so she's bound to have an accent anyway. But that's not the point, we want to educate her in London, we've just bought a ruddy big house so we had better be coming back. Williams reportedly put his £9 million Compton Bassett Manor back on the market after failing to sell it back in July 2010, with the singer having forked out a cool £24 million on an incredible mansion in Switzerland after moving their family to Geneva. Williams is said to be keen on selling the 17th century Wiltshire property as he never felt at home there and also feels it is haunted. A source told The Mirror, it seemed like an idyllic hideaway in the English countryside but he never really felt at home there. In a matter of months he realized it wasn't where he and Ada wanted to settle. Now he's planning a reshuffle of his property portfolio since deciding to buy in Switzerland. The family moved there last summer and rented for six months to make sure they wanted to stay. The singer also owns a £17.5 million London home that has been the source of an ongoing row with his next-door neighbor, Led Zeppelin guitarist Jimmy Page, over renovation plans. The former Take That star was given planning permission for an underground swimming pool and gym in October 2019 at his Grade 2 listed home after five years of fighting with Rocker Page. 
Williams previously responded by withdrawing the blueprints but later returned with a fresh set of plans, and last month he filed a new report guaranteeing that noise from the units will not exceed 25 decibels. Thanks for watching the whole video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.